can kind of do look like that's funny. So we want to see if you can get some tweets. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so work on that. Um, we want to get Cassandra to like have something. Um, because spring break is next week. Mm -hmm. This is the last week before spring break. So I'll be able to do anything on spring break. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to do anything on spring break. You won't? No. I don't have internet at home. Um, okay. Um, but technically, you don't it? need internet for Tilly, what you, you don't, do. but you do. Well, she can start up the core of it. Yeah. So she gets internet. Yeah, you don't need you don't need internet, but I don't see how you can work without it. Internet at home. Okay. Um, let's see. I've had it before, but we don't have it now. Yeah, because I I'm like used to live with my mom, which passed yeah, away, yeah. so I live with my friend. Yeah. Don't have internet. Right. Okay. Your town? Not really. No place. No library. No. Like half hour away. Oh my god! Why don't you come stay with me for the week? Uh, I've got places for you to live. Not in the house. Don't be ridiculous. The barn with the goats. <laughs> we've got. You can live in the barn. No, we've got extra houses. You know, because Cherry Valley has all these. They're called opera houses. You know, that people are in the summer. They'll be cold because they're not heated. <laughs> oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah. Okay. You're not doing it. Though. No. All right. I have to go see a cat. Hmm? I have to go see my cat. Okay, so close out the Zoom windows, you know, yeah, so, right, and then go back to design, right, and here you are working on, what's your next, you kept going with hyper plans. I want to pick up our conversation about the day that, that we started on Monday night. Okay. Was it Monday night that you said? Yeah. Yes. The whole, the concept that you've got your, that you, Think of her Word document. Uh, well, that you're running, that you're going from a text document, running it through a black box, and getting something on the outside. Yeah. I want to talk about the black box um, and why um, I encourage you to not use a black box because it's, it hides like parts. There's something in there that I don't know what, and it might be perfectly fine, but it's bothering me for some reason. So I thought. James, what are you working on? Um, helping other students and finishing up the one project. Which project? Um, the one with all the pictures. The wedding. Not the wedding one, the whole oh, photography one. Oh, photography? Okay. Yep. All right. And Cassandra, you're not working on anything, right? Particularly? No, since this weekend. No. Yeah. But the, what's the last project in this class that you worked on? Um, I finished the importing pictures from Flickr thing. Okay. All right. Did anyone take a look at Hagar's home entertainment? We? Yes. Oh, have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, this thing is like spinning. So yeah. it's a little hard sometimes to find out exactly where we are. Who's sharing who's screen now? Um, let's run off of okay. Cassandra's screen. She's going to drive. I'm sharing. Yes. So go back where you were. Where you? Yep. Um, do the box of the arrow going to the side. No, nope, right one. Go to share screen. Um, and so just go back home. So start, just click on the home button so you can start home. Um, and so, um, where did I write? Oh, I wrote the critique in the news group, right? Yes. Okay, so I think it's called multi sequential narrative, and I don't think that there, I haven't asked for permalinks to that yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and there are no permalinks. So, yes, he shared it in the news group. So, can you go to the discussion forum? There's a link to it under Design Right Learning Community on the right menu of the contents menu of the learning community. You can 
So that so you just did that. So that's interesting, right? Navigationally, did you need to open that tiddler? No. Did you what did you think was gonna happen when you clicked the mouse there? I thought you it was gonna like you thought, yeah, so you got to hit that, exactly, hit that twisty. Yeah, so now, so what's interesting, so is that a, are, are people like not sensitive enough to see those as two separate places to click? No. You see what, do you see what we're, what we're talking there here? Which so, un, yeah, so what Cassandra did, close that, yeah, is she wanted to unclick it, so she clicked here, which opened up the tippler instead of doing the twisty. And then you want to look at activities, extra spaces. I was wrong about that. But don't, yeah, and then discussion for it. Um, yeah. And so there's the link to the group. So um, you, sign, you probably have to sign, you don't need to sign in. Um, so I think it's this one multi sequential exercise questions. I just remember that. And um, yeah, then all the way on the bottom, there's a note from me. I just sent everyone the link in chat for it. Yeah, that's right. There's his, there's his critique. So click on that critique link. So this is, um, so what I'm starting to do, because I think people are sort of ready to go, is think about like how I can interact and critique and look at that stuff. So go back to the um, group, the second tab. Um, so we're going to look at that and then um, Go to where's this link? Um, so maybe it's up above a little bit. There's a um, link to his thing. I'm going here. Very, there it is. Keep going up. There's a right. There's one of these is his link. He's he's a little crazy in his way he writes these. Right. Where? I think to the wiki for it is here. Here, here. Are you pointing and like? I know, I know, I know. Okay, so um, so okay, so this is, and you can visit this. What's happening here? I think what he's got going on is he's got these three dimensions. So he's got entertainment type. And this is all the, the object is his um, like CD collection, or movie collection, his entertainment collection, right? And he categorizes each object as what type of entertainment is it, ebook, movie, music, da da da. How's it stored? What's the storage medium? And do I own it or have I stolen it from my friend? Um, so if you went to an object, like the name of an album, what would you expect to be able to do? Or where would you expect to be able to go um, from that object based on what you know? So let's say that you went to a, an album that's on a, that's on a CD, uh, it's music that he owns. So from that object, what could you navigate to? How, what do you think that would, or what would you know about that object in relationship to the other objects in the collection? Go to music to get to it. You know, so, so pick, pick one of to get to it. Click, click, click on music. Okay, and pick an album. Let's do a vinyl disc. Fire and ice. Oh, no, do face that. Do face that. Because I think that's the one that I cloned. Okay, so look at this, which is pretty interesting. Where can you go from this album? Look, in, so Paul's like, what do you mean go, right? So if you think of a, a wiki, the tiddler, you can't see me drawing the box around it, it's Trump-like, right? Do you remember, have you seen the Trump thing with his um, lines around the states? So this is like lines around the tiddler? You guys are just not paying attention to the campaign. Okay. Um, so he's got, um, I don't know, a thousand things in here. I don't know how many out here. No? <clears throat> Albums, music, 
and you want to be able to navigate through his collection. So where can you go? What can you navigate to? Which other objects can you navigate to? Tags. Sorry? The tags. So if you click on music, you can get to any music, right? And there's a lot of it, right? So click on own, you can get to anything that he owns. Okay, ooh, that's like, okay. Click on end item. Yeah, you can get to any item. Okay. Um, how could you improve? And that's not what people want to do. That's not how they want to navigate through objects. If they're photographs of, um, of a narrative story, if they're tweets from a conference, if they're photos, photos of portfolio. your portfolio objects, um, so they're, they're portfolio objects, right? So you don't want to just like have a big list of them to pick. You could, that's okay. But what he's building here is this concept of each of these is a list of objects, right? And they're in an order. And so, let's see, face value, music, final disc. Click on music. Um, find it in there. Face value, music, final disc. And just rest your mouse over that. There. Oh, look, you missed it. There it is. That's the one you're on. What's the one before this on the list? So scroll up to the before. Oh, 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 oh. Go back to where you were. There. Oh, no, you missed it. Face value, music, final disc. Okay, and before is face value, music, CDR. So you might want to go before or next. What's the next one? Okay. In all of the navigation that you do, what are the sort of standard operations that you do for navigating alongside this? tracks in an album? Songs on your playlist, photos. You click things. Well, what's like? What tools do you always have available to you? Playlists. Play. What's the? But how do you navigate through a playlist? Previous, 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 previous. Right. First, previous, next, last. When you hear first, previous, next, last, you, you know what that looks like, right? You just know. So if you see those things, you'll know what it looks like. So, click off of that, and he's got music, and I'm not thrilled with this, but look at face value, music, vinyl, disc, under music, and the other, down, down, that, that, down, one more, yeah, that right there. Okay, don't focus on the interface, it's got its issues, okay, but we're about designing interactive text, about creating opportunities for our readers to move, navigate from object to object. So what has he provided us for? What's the first button to the left? Linger over that. Previous. That's back. Go to the first one. Oh, there's next. Okay. First. Cool. Last. Cool. Okay. And you can do that within music, the entire collection, vinyl discs, or things he owns. The entire collection, music, things he owns, and vinyl discs. That's like a multi-sequential narrative because in my twisted mind, I'm sorry, my intertwingled mind, you can navigate his entertainment items on multiple sequential dimensions, multiple narratives. You can tell his story, he can tell you his story about his entertainment items based on based on what? What are the what are the dimensions of his narratives? What are the three dimensions that his narrative contains? So go back to um, my critique, the second tab up in your browser. I think it's it's the the one I can't see. Yeah, it's one of the home entertainment. There it is. Okay. Can I share your screen again. It's, So, he allows readers to navigate among the many entertainment items of three dimensions. The entertainment type, the media type, and ownership. So click on media, 
So these are the different media types, his red tags. You have that. What's the equivalent in yours? Plant type. And then there's all the plants. Yeah. Tagging up and tagging down. Okay, this is the this is the category tag. These are the uh, these are the attribute tags. There's so many different vocabularies <laughs> that every field has their own words for these different things. Um, these are not the albums, these are the, this is like the metadata about the album. So the metadata is not, the album doesn't have a media, has one, click on media again. The, the album face value has the media associated with it, but it's not actually tagged with media. Okay, and that's like hard to sometimes get your head around. And then entertainment type, I think that's where the music is going to come from. Click on entertainment type, it's not, it's right to the left. Oh, there's music, right? And then ownership. I think he owned that album, right? <clears throat> yeah, he owned it. Okay. Um, so click on face value clone, which is another one that I critiqued. Um, so I took his, this is the one that I messed with. Okay. I didn't do anything to it. I think I just cloned it. So that's not what I might be free to click on. So he's got this weirdness going on in here about one tither at a time. <coughs> Um, so I think if you close that, the previous one will come back. Close that tiddler. Close the tiddler. Just the tiddler. I think the previous one comes back. Yeah. And click on nav macro. That's what I meant to ask you to do. Okay. So what I suggest that you do is, um, can you, do you know how to divide your screen in half? Yeah. You want this one or one of them? We want to see them both. It doesn't matter which is left, which is right. I'm just going to show what you want to see. Oh, his original and my version of it. Most. It works on mine that way. Yeah, yeah. No, it might be a different version of Windows. Just sort of resize the window manually. Yeah. There. And then scroll down on his. So, and see if you can move that video window out of the way. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So I was proposing that he replace this, all of those multiple bars, linger your mouse over that. Replace that with this and linger your mouse over that again. Um, exactly the same, but what's the key difference that I'm proposing? Besides the stylizing, putting in a table and make it small and stuff like that, those things don't matter. What's the real difference that I'm proposing you do? The tag. So what did, where did I get this tag relative to this? What was he using in his <coughs> table? And what am I using? So he's using his Tiddler title, face value music vinyl disc. If you, anytime you're looking at something, you see face value vinyl, what is it? Face value music vinyl disc, one, two, three, four, five times. That doesn't make any sense. Right, so you, know, you don't want anybody to read the same thing twice within a tip. That's a general rule. Not always. But, so I replaced it with the thing he has above it, the entire collection of music vinyl discs and items I own, <clears throat> which maybe it's a caption to these tags. I just wanted the tag names, you know, just because I'm lazy. Um, and he's probably got them in his code. So how could you do this? Um, Make mine full screen and click on critique up there. Go back to my critique. Yep, just go to the um, and look at macros nav, the first tiddler, and edit this. Okay, you're not writing this. You can, you're more than welcome to. You're not going to. But how can you make use of this? How can you use this, his logic, 
and figure out what he's doing and take his code and write your own story using his structure. That's the sort of, um, oh, that's the approach I'm hoping that you take to using Tiddly Wiki. Part of the course is designing and writing interactive texts. An important part of the course is using an open source software that's being written collaboratively by a community in front of your eyes. It's like people, it's just, it's a permanent beta thing. Everybody's thinking of new things to do and you can take other people's code and use it because it's open source. How could you do it? Like what's the, how, how do you actually write and think this way? You're probably not used to seeing stuff that looks like that, right? You are. You write HTML. Yeah. Is it any? You write HTML. Well, no, but you've seen it. You write HTML once, but you see it. Do you, do you ever see anything like this, Cassandra? Do you ever see stuff? Computer like, crashes. Yeah. <laughs> you never look. You never see stuff like this. Not willingly, no. Not with why? Yeah. That's just not my interest. Okay. So like to, for you to like use this and do something with it, not interesting at all. And you don't see that as part of interactive writing. And I think it is, it's just not something I'm into. Okay. Um, so you don't have to do this in this class because you really can do the um, initial sets of stuff that we did, which is basically linking and tagging and transcluding. Um, if you want to get to something that's more ambitious, I don't want to say it's ambitious. If you want to get something that's, that has a greater level of complexity and an object model so that it, it blends your text writing with a database, so you're basically writing as a database kind of concept, then, um, then this kind of stuff will work. So if you wanted to do this with your tweets, if you wanted to do what he's doing with your plans, how could you take that? Drag the tiddler over, his macro nav's tiddler to yours, and you start playing. Um, so let's look at some of these things. So let's um, let's break out his code. So here's the tag tags first, icon first. You can probably look at this and figure out which are the rows of this table. And play, literally play with it. <coughs> So, if you want, I think the stuff that I've written, the multis, I mean, I think it's basically similar. He's kind of doing it to the next level. So, are you going to do something like that, Paul, or no? Not with my tweets, because I don't think it's going to work. But would you ever open a piece of code like that and spend the no, time no. to sort of poke through it and make it and yeah. bend it to your will? Yeah, I've done so. Okay. Um, the other place, if you're close to this, the other place that this is happening is, I'll go back to critique. Did I, I might not have tagged the template with critique. I did. Click on face value clone. And then I think I changed the template. I did. Okay. Um, there's a template that's driving this. Have you played with templates? Have you played with templates yet? I don't know. No. Um, search, I don't know the name of this template. So um, I think it's ent item. Search for ent hyphen item. Um, and then do advanced search. Let's see. Yeah, that's like stuck. too many. That should be enough. One, one. That's good. And then do advanced search. Do advanced search. Advanced search. It's right. To the, it's the first button to the right of the search box. This. Yep. Right, right, right. Like yep. And um, it's template and items. And so edit this. And so this is what's driving each. This is critical, actually. I think Paul, you're going to need this, and I think Kerry, you really need this. This is your next step. 
That's just driving the navigation bar, correct? This is driving the whole, not just the, the, the whole thing, the whole presentation. Um, so figure out the templates. Do you know how to do those? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it is 9.37. Let me do the templates, and I'll just use Hagar. So let me do the templates and show you how to get there, and how to find them, and then how to manipulate them, and then we'll save that and go on. Let me take a break. <laughs> <laughs>